So took a one week trip to Townsend, Tennessee and set up and went to town and came back and there was an ungodly odor as soon as we came through the door. But we just got there and got set up. So this one really had me puzzled. I thought, what in the world? So it don't take long. You start opening up a few doors. You stick your head in the bathroom. Huh, it was okay. Bathroom door was shut. Come out here and open up these doors and it would knock you down. The air admittance valve is see if that shows up I may have to get a light in here but our air admittance valve is up there so I went ahead and luckily it was only hand tight so I went ahead and unscrewed it and took a look at it and it had dozens and dozens of little dead worms or maggots in it there was enough of them to prevent that little weak diaphragm which is a very subtle valve a subtle pressure valve a very low pressure valve it may take a half a pound or even less to operate that but its only purpose is when you drain the galley tank and the galley tank is an inch and a half line we'll go out there and take a look at it right now okay the vent under the kitchen sink it is only associated with the galley and the galley tank and that's like a 30 gallon tank and this is the only drain line coming from it this drains the galley tank when you open this valve that's a that's an inch and a half line you've got an inch and a half uh, 30 gallons of water wanting to come out of there at eight pounds a gallon so there's 240 pounds something like that trying to push its way out and what happens because of the force and the weight of that water so what's going on is as soon as you open up that valve as I was saying you've got that 240 pounds worth of water wanting to run out of there and if that valve wasn't there and that was a solid line the theory and the thinking is, is that this p-trap which contains just enough water in there to keep the odors in the tank and not coming up to your kitchen sink in running your environment in the RV without that valve they think it would siphon the water out of this well there's no thinking to it it will it will eventually siphon the water out of this p-trap and now you've lost your protection that simple valve allows it to work it's like a one-way valve it's like a check valve it's going to let air any any suction on that will pull it open to atmosphere and you'll pull in air as soon as you stop the drain, it's got enough of a spring tension or a diaphragm pressure against it, it will close up and prevent any odors from coming out. It works pretty cool until it gets stopped up with a bunch of dead critters. Let's take it off and go in and take a look. Yeah, see I lucked out on that. It was only hand tight, which is okay. If you need to replace yours, you need to pay attention to just how close your pipe is. To the wall now most of these air admittance valves aavs or drain vents whatever you want to call them most of them are extremely low profile what i mean is it's thin if that wasn't thin that wouldn't go in there even another half inch i'd be putting pressure on it and that's rigid you can't bend that out so i wanted to find one that was a low profile enough to go on there without putting any pressure outward on the pipe okay we got it off let's go in and take a look at it see if any critters are left and there's some down in there where the valve is too. There's one down in there. I don't know if it's going to show up. A lot of them won't show up. You know, you might say, well, go ahead and shake it out, but I don't know how they got there in the first place. Look how stuck they are. And, and this is a very cheap valve. This is, this is probably only a, you know, a $2 valve at the time of manufacturing. And they're going to use the cheapest one they can get. Got a weird brand on it. It is made in USA though. Sewer vent, do not remove. But there's several in there. And they managed to work their way around in there and you can see them. It probably won't show up on the camera, but they're way down there where the valve seat is too. Okay, let's go back out and we'll put the new valve on. And looks like if I can, I want to get some Teflon tape on them threads, but I may not be able to. Either way, it's going to seal. Uh, everybody recommends just putting it back on hand tight. We'll go back out there and take a look. I went back with an OD Sure Vent, a little bit higher quality valve, and probably twice the money, still 20 bucks, whatever. If it works, hey, it works. Okay, here's what we're going to go back with is the Sure Vent AAV air admittance valve. That's the technical and proper term for this valve. But yeah, it vents the drain. And, and it works. It allows that air when you dump that valve. You can see how on the other end here, how it would want to pull. If no valve was here, how it would siphon. It would actually pull and siphon the water out of the P-trap. 
which is the only protection you have against odors. So it's a pretty narrow profile. So I've got male threads on my anti-drain back valve here on this Odie Sure vent, and the one that came off of it was female. So I went ahead and cut the sleeve off. When I did, it is full of dead, dried maggots. So I'm going to have to assume I had a whole tank full of them. And my vent valve, of course, sat right on top of it. So you can just see what happened here. Now the dead ones are starting to fall out. But that's something I kind of caught me by surprise. I would not have expected that. They're clearly inside the tank, not on the outside. Or they got up in here and laid eggs, and then they went down in the tank. I, who knows? But they're not in the kitchen. They're not in the cabinetry. There was never no maggots or anything out where it was obvious that we could see them. They're just right here. Not really even visible until I unscrewed the, the anti-drain back valve. Okay, we went ahead and got it installed. It is not ideal because I did not have any ABS fittings in stock. The PVC and Schedule 40 fittings I had were a little bit too big for that inch and a half inch black ABS pipe. So I went ahead and it went to Lowe's. Let me back out of here. And got lucky. Found this reducer over there where all the rubber adapters are. And I was able, now remember this had inch and a half male thread on it. I was able to thread that, loosen that clamp. I actually put the clamp down here and very loose. I was able to, very, it, it threaded hard, but I was able to thread that in there really good and tight. And then I've got the added security of the hose clamp. So that's 100%. And this went on really good. And it went, that pipe uh, was cut off about here. And I went all the way down as far as I could go and tightened it up tight. And it was a pretty good tight, I mean a pretty snug fit before I even started tightening the hose clamp. So I may leave it like that, but I doubt if I will. Um, one thing, I think I want to keep the rubber boot just in my uh, supply box. But I think once I get the proper ABS, uh, inch and a half female NPT, inch and a half NPT female, and then a slip where I can glue it to this ABS. I mean, you have to use the special ABS glue on that too. What we're going to do now is dump a few gallons of water in there and some bleach and let it work its way on our out to our next while we're on our way to the next trip. And that ought to clean it out. And then we just kind of, we just got to start all over. So, but luckily none of the maggots migrated out here and hatched or if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask them in the comment section and travel safe out there. Thanks for watching and have a good one.